Well, hello everyone. This is Ariel Ginga welcoming you to our webinar today called From Stage Fright to Spotlight. This is for experts who love what they do and want to make a big difference but hate the public speaking part. Today is about how to become a better presenter and how to monetize and package your passion to make the difference that you know you're destined to make. Today you're going to learn how to stand out as an expert, an author, a speaker, coach, consultant, or service professional. You're definitely in the right place if you just know that you have something really important to offer to the world, but you struggle with exactly how to talk about it. Or maybe you're someone who's dying to get your work out in the world in a bigger way, but you don't know how to package your passion. Or maybe you already took the first step. You know, people know about you. Uh, perhaps you, you might be, uh, you know, using webinars, live speaking events. Maybe you have your own, you know, YouTube channel. But you're just not getting great results. And you can't figure out exactly why. You're constantly trying new sales and marketing strategies that are costing you tons of time, a lot of money. And it just feels like small returns compared to how much you're putting out there. Maybe you already have a lot of fans on your social media platforms, but you can't seem to persuade people to buy from you. You're getting a lot of likes and thumbs up on your Facebook post, your blog, your YouTube channel. Maybe your list is growing, but your sales are not. So if that's the case, I'm thankful that you are here today because I believe that you're going to have many breakthrough moments in today's training and there's some things that we're gonna talk about there's some strategies that I'm gonna share with you and you'll be able to apply them right away and it can completely change the momentum of your business for the better now one thing you want to know about me whether we've met or not is that I love to focus on the top 20% of the activities that are bringing in 80% of the results and that's what's gonna to happen today Today we're going to discover what are the top 20% of the strategies that flat out work for experts in today's age, with today's times, with today's technologies. In the next two hours or so, I'm going to motivate you, paint a whole new vision of what's possible. And my intention is to open your world for what's possible with your gift and the lifestyle that you can start living in the very near future you'll be able to immediately apply everything that you learn. And for those of you that want to take it further, don't worry, we'll show you exactly how to do that as well. I'm about to show you the number one way to get new leads, generate new clientele, and master the art of public speaking all at the same time and have a blast doing it. And the best part, this is absolutely free. So it's not going to eat up your marketing budget. Now, how do I know that? Because what I'm about to show you has worked for me for the last four and a half years. This fun and powerful tool that I'm going to share with you has given me an unfair advantage, landing me corporate clients and private coaching clients from a myriad of different industries. 90% of my business is because of this one tool that I started using four and a half years ago and what's better I now have the ability to work with people from all walks of life work from home when I choose to and travel at my discretion the the model and the techniques that you're gonna learn here today these are great for you whether you want to include travel with what you're doing or maybe you've been traveling a little too much and you would love to transition into a working from home type of a business model if you take the time like you're doing here on this webinar to get your hands on a model that is proving to do exactly that and not just for me but we have hundreds of clients all over the world that are using these systems every single day because they flat out work the secret to all of it like we kind of touched upon is speaking about what you love and having systems in place that lead people to your high ticket products and service offerings. Now there's three parts to today's webinar. First, I'm gonna walk you through my bubble map instant content creator. 
It includes the speech crafting tool that you can use to design speeches, work presentations, workshops, seminars, webinars. Heck, it even works for wedding toasts. The elements of actually crafting your master talk so that it leads to a genuine invitation and not a sales pitch. The second part is about how to deliver like a pro. I'll teach you guys some really cool strategies that you can implement right away to connect and engage with your audience. These strategies will help you present with power and authenticity. And the third part is going to be about how to structure your own profitable mastermind. It'll be useful if you're in front of a computer at that time because I've got some things that I can walk you through to make it easier for you. I'll walk you through my seven-step formula for running a successful high-end mastermind. So you can definitely... You definitely want to stay until the end because I've saved the best for last. This is the exact same formula that we use to run a profitable mastermind and it's working for us tremendously right now in 2016. And by the way, the techniques that I'm going to share with you work in any situation, whether it's a live speaking event, a webinar, or even from a well thought out video training. It's the same concept, the same formula. So you can maximize all those marketing channels and look good doing it. Today is really about setting yourself ahead of your competition, using public speaking and the systems that I'll show you throughout this training to grow yourself and your business. Now, if we haven't met, by the way, if you're just jumping in with us, my name is Ariel Ginga. I'm known by many right here as the public speaking doctor right here in Atlanta. And I know that's a pretty lofty title, but by the end of this training, I think you'll understand why I believe that I've earned it. You know, I'm just passionate about all the minutia relating to the topic of presenting, whether it's giving a, a live presentation or coaching someone through a presentation. I'm passionate about the moment that somebody gets to give their first live talk in front of a live audience and sell their first product from the stage. And they didn't even think that they could do it. I'm passionate about helping them to see them through that actual uh, transition or the moment that they decide to say yes to themselves and decide to master this area of their life once and for all because it's in that moment and really only in that moment where change truly happens and I know I'm talking to you today as, as an influencer as a leader in the world and the fastest way for you to inspire people to say yes to themselves is to learn what we're learning here to learn how to stand and deliver with confidence and also how to monetize your master talk. And I'm living proof. Giving a talk twice a month really has been the key to everything I'm going to teach you. And the great news is that if you pay close attention, it can happen for you very, very fast. You can put this to work and you can see results so much faster than you thought possible. And also, if you're, you know, if you're on the line today and maybe you're in a direct sales or multi-level uh, marketing, you're also going to get extra bang for your buck because everything that we teach you throughout the training is not only going to apply to the product or service that you're marketing, it will also apply for when you're looking to get people to join your organization. So if you're, uh, if you're in MLM sales, you're going to be able to use this tool in that setting as well. Now, my clients include uh, experts, entrepreneurs, and professionals from a variety of different industries. I've, ta I've taught professionals from uh, Georgia Tech, from uh, IBM, from Hilti, uh, AJC, just to name a few. So if you're here from, let's say, the health and wellness industry, I've worked with people in your sector before, and they've had great success with our programs. If you're in the internet marketing space, you're definitely in the right place today. Some of my clients have used what you're going to learn in today's training to close thousands of dollars on stages to revamp their internet marketing businesses. Uh, here's some uh, feedback from some of our clients. Uh, Michelle Valbrun, senior auditor at Spirit, wrote, Ariel is truly the public speaking doctor. As a CPA, it is absolutely critical to possess strong communication skills. Atlanta Public Speaking not only helped me to become a better public speaker, but also a more effective communicator. 
The program's visual mind mapping strategy gave me tools that I needed to reduce my speech preparation time and the confidence that I needed to create a presentation on any topic. I highly recommend the public speaking intensive program to speakers at all levels. Thank you so much, Michelle. Uh, awesome, awesome student. Uh, Sam Rivera, he says, uh, he's, uh, he's the owner of Rebirth Capital Solutions, and he says, I attended Ariel's training, which was mind-blowing. Ariel gave me so much great content and actually showed me how to go out and do my own seminars, and he actually taught us how to promote our business just throughout sp through public speaking, setting up seminars and different techniques on what to exactly do. The training was amazing. I definitely recommend it, especially for those that are just uh, starting out in business. John Acosta, product manager at Wu Wave DreamSync, he said that uh, Ariel is completely raw in his approach on public speaking, no fluff or overzealous jargon. He breaks it down to a visual science that has already redefined my approach to public speaking. You see, I got all those opportunities and attracted all those cool people through public speaking and through packaging my passion. And you could do the same thing, whatever business or industry that you're in. I've worked with doctors, lawyers, chiropractors, therapists, B2B account executives, CEOs, entrepreneurs, and it's worked for everybody and it will work for you. Now, before we get started, let me give you guys a better understanding of why I came here to speak to you about this topic today. For those of you that weren't here at the beginning, my name is Ariel Ginga, once again, and I'm the founder of Atlanta Public Speaking. I started this organization at the end of 2011. I'm originally from Romania, but I've been residing in Atlanta for the last 30 years now. I guess you can call me Romerican at this point. Now, you might be thinking, what's a guy from Romania doing teaching public speaking in English? Isn't America a beautiful country? <laughs> you have so much opportunity here in America, and I want, I want you to, to really take advantage of it. I came to America in 1983 when the communist regime was in full control of the Romanian people. My father had undergone a grueling 35-day hunger strike in order for us to have the opportunity to live in America. So being here, doing what I'm doing, living my life purpose, that's something that I don't take for granted, and neither should you. Because here in America, you have more opportunity than any other place in this world if you're willing to step up and take chances. And that's me right there, that's my pops right over there, uh, that's my family. Since then, we've added to the family, but that's just uh, me back in Romania with my family. The first thing I saw on American TV was a game between the Atlanta Hawks and the Chicago Bulls. I came to America the same year that Michael Jordan was a rookie. So I became obsessed with basketball, and I was the biggest Chicago Bulls fan growing up. You know, I wore all the Bulls clothing. Every day throughout high school, I would skip my lunch hour, go to the library, pick up the USA Today, go right to the sports page and read about Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Horace Grant. Uh, I really related to John Paxson because I believe he was the least talented on the Bulls team. And uh, I tried out for the Meadow Creek Mustangs basketball team three years in a row. And guess what? I got cut three years in a row. I really wish I would have had a, had a basketball mentor back at the time, but I, I didn't. So I was the biggest Bulls fan growing up, but I was very much a loner. You know, I was very, very introverted. Basketball was my outlet. So this introverted lifestyle finally caught up with me one day in geography class at the age of 17 when I had to do a presentation on the country of Colombia. I still remember I had the coolest poster and I practiced it about a dozen times the night before and I thought I was ready to go. So I, I get to the point where uh, I, I set up the poster and I'm in front of the class and the poster is really, really cool. It's got all these statistics on Columbia and I thought, okay, here I go. And as soon as I looked at the audience, suddenly I felt, I felt this. <laughs> You probably, you probably felt that feeling before if you're watching this webinar. I could not say a word, not a joke, not a hello. It was just crickets, deer headlights. Ariel says nothing, not even, 
hello, this is Colombia. Like, it was just like, this guy's not going to say anything. His face is turning red. And I took my poster and I sat back down without saying one damn word. <laughs> it still hurts to this day. But, you know, I sat back down in that geography class at Meadow Creek High School with my heart pounding out of my chest, shaking in my chair. But I did something very important on that day. I did something very, very important. I made a decision. So wherever you are right now, go ahead and just say, my decisions will decide my destiny. I said to myself, today I'm going to do something about this. Not tomorrow, but today. Today I'm going to do something about this. So later on that day, I had to follow through on my decision. And I wound up going to the public library after school. And it was at that public library where I, where I met my first mentor. If you're watching this webinar, you've probably heard of Tony Robbins before because, you know, I believe that you and I were probably cut from the same cloth. We probably have a lot of uh, similarities. And so what I did is I picked up one of his books. It was called Awaken the Giant Within and a bunch of his tapes called Personal Power. And on the back of this book was a picture of Tony speaking to a live audience. And I thought to myself, this guy has no problem doing what I attempted to do earlier on in geography class. So I checked out all these tapes and two of his books. And uh, I took all this information home with me. And for the next eight hours, I'm not exaggerating, I immersed myself. I just listened to Tony's material. And he was talking about things like your decisions decide your destiny. You're the captain of your own ship. That whatever the mind can conceive and believe it can also, you probably heard this, it can also achieve. And for me, this was all brand new food for thought. And at the end of his tapes, Tony made a genuine invitation to sign up for this program called Unleash the Power Within. It was a three-day program. And even though it put me out of my comfort zone, both financially, because I definitely didn't have the money, and especially emotionally, because I thought, I don't belong in a public speaking setting. I don't belong at a seminar. But I said to myself, this is your moment of truth. You said, today you're going to do something about this. And it was my moment of truth. And I, I certainly didn't have the money at the age of 17, but I was committed. The only money that I had was a, a plastic Ziploc bag with all the cash that I earned from two years of selling candy and chocolate turtles and scented candles and peanut brittle door to door in an after school program called CYA, Colonial Youth Achievement. All my savings that I worked so hard for for two years and I was about to invest this into a seminar? No way. I almost backed out. I said, no way. No, no, I can't do this. But I said, you know what? Today you said you're going to do something about it. And I was desperate. And you know what? I just, I kind of went with my instinct there and I, I risked it all. I said, okay, here I go. I'm going to do this. And I stepped out on faith and I went out and I got a money order and I invested in that Tony Robbins seminar. And you know what? Right after I did that, right after I did that, I had a sense of peace and calm and I was very happy with my decision. So you might be in a place today where you know, you're going to make a decision. And as soon as you make this decision, you're going to feel certainty. You're going to feel calm. You're going to feel hope because answers and resources are closer than you think. And looking back on it, I'm so glad that I decided to make that decision because the reason, the reason that I shared this story with you is because at that seminar, my life purpose was unveiled. Tony kept asking us questions like, what's your why? What's your purpose here on earth? What's your assignment? And it became evident to me that my assignment was to become a champion for the very thing that I feared the most. I decided right then and there that I was going to become a public speaking coach right there at that seminar. I decided that even though I don't know how I'm going to do this, that Tony said, if you have a big enough why, you're going to figure out the how. The right mentors will show up and the how will be unveiled right before your eyes. 
And I decided, okay, my message is going to someday be, my mess is going to someday become my message. And I got to tell you, the road hasn't been easy. In 2011, I was an assistant coach for Dale Carnegie. And I also got my CC certification from Toastmasters International. But even though those programs did help me, it wasn't until I got access to personal mentors that I really learned how to make money with my speaking. And today I'm living my life purpose. And, uh, you know, there's my good friend and, and mentor, Victor Antonio. I'm very blessed to have his guidance and his direction in my life. He's been a catalyst in my development as a speaker. And I learned so much from him about the speaking business. And I'm just happy to see him do his thing <laughs> on TV now in his own uh, show called Life or Debt. Profound show where he helps uh, startups and he helps families actually. A lot of these families, they, they, they have some kind of startup uh, business. Um, but he helps families break free from their financial prison one family at a time. So go, Victor. You've inspired me to reach for the stars. And I appreciate all your advice and your friendship and just everything that you've given me uh, through the years. Lisa Sasevich, another great mentor of mine who's more than just the queen of sales conversion. I look at her like, like an angel from up above. She's taught me that you can actually be honest, spiritual, and you could be an honest and spiritual person from the platform. You could charge what you're worth and you can make the difference that you're here to make at the same time without compromising any of that. And, you know, I wouldn't be here today without my mentors. They've truly paved the way for my success. I really believe that mentorship is the highest form of knowledge. You can't get this kind of knowledge from a book or a series of YouTube videos. We've all heard a saying that hindsight is 2020. But if you're standing next to a mentor's hindsight, your foresight becomes 2020. That's the power of mentorship because you don't have to make the same mistakes that they did. The whole, the whole point that you know my company and me being here today has been honestly the result of one decision. And that decision was to say, yes, today I'm going to do something about it. And to start at the age of 17 to invest in mentors. And then later on, as I grew, to actually have personal mentors that were willing to, to mentor me and to spend time with these mentors. That's been the key. But it was all the result of one decision. So the first step to becoming a great public speaker is to simply decide to say, today, I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to fix this area of my life once and for all. And the second step is to find a mentor who's actually doing what you want to do, who's really out there doing it. And I got to tell you, you know, if you're willing to invest your time and your money into that mentorship, it's always going to pay off for you in the long run if you're willing to listen to the right person. Trust me on this. It's always more expensive if you try to do it on your own. Don't be cheap when it comes to your future. So anyways, that kind of gives you an idea of how my journey unfolded. And without further ado, let's begin to unfold our journey together today. Now, I only have about 90 minutes or I mean roughly around 90 minutes with you guys today. And in this next 90 minutes, I'm going to teach you all I can about public speaking and then for those of you that want to take your training further, I promise to create an opportunity right at the end where you can do that. I hope that sounds fair with everyone. Okay, first thing first, uh, let's go ahead and pull out all the tools that you're going to need to get the most out of this webinar. And it's going to be very simple. The only thing that you're going to need is a blank sheet of paper and a pen. It has to be blank with both sides empty. And you're going to need a pen or a pencil. But it's very important that you have that because this webinar is very interactive and we're going to have you do drills right inside the webinar. So go ahead and hit pause. Go grab a paper. It must be a, a blank sheet of paper front and back and grab a pen and come right back to this webinar. Now, the first thing that I like you to do is rate yourself as a speaker on a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being the lowest, kind of like I was when I was 17 years old, and 10 being 
whoever your Tony Robbins is, whoever your Victor Antonio is, whoever your Lisa Sasevich is, you know, those are some of my awesome mentors. Uh, how would you rate yourself? One to ten. And then go ahead and write that number somewhere uh, at the bottom. Make it real small because I'm going to give you a lot of stuff here on, on this paper. So go ahead and write that uh, that number down right now, please. And if you have to hit pause, hit pause. So now let me ask you, why didn't you give yourself a 10? You know, if you gave yourself a 10, by the way, congratulations. Please, uh, you're excused from the webinar. Go spend your time doing something more productive. Unless you're here and you want to learn what we're going to teach right at the end, which is how to monetize your speaking. Because a lot of students come to me and they're advanced Toastmasters. They got the public speaking down. They're way better speakers than myself. But they come to me because they want to learn how to monetize their, their speaking. So maybe you're already a 10, but you want to learn how to monetize it. In that case, stick with us because you're definitely in the right place. So let's say you gave yourself a 7. Uh, my question to you is, What's keeping you from a 10? When we do this exercise in, in our live classes, most attendees don't give themselves a 10. And usually the reason has to do with organizing their content. They either, either report something like, I'm scared I might forget what I'm going to say, so that makes me hesitant, and that's what's keeping me from a 10. Or they say, I, you know, I tend to talk in circles, and I get off track, and that's why I'm not a 10 or they say, you know, I try to skip to a uh, stick to a script. I try to memorize my presentation and that's what's keeping me from a 10 or I just freeze up in front of the class and I just, you know, my, my, my nerves get the best of me and that's what's keeping me from a 10. So go ahead and just write that down there right at the bottom that, you know, what's what, why not a 10? Why aren't you a 10? And this is how you see yourself. You know, you have to see yourself as a level 10 first. The change happens in the mind at the subconscious level. So remember that the unseen enemy is the most fearsome. So let's figure out exactly why you're not seeing yourself as a 10. Okay, so, well, the good news is that you don't have to write out your presentation ever again. You don't need to memorize your presentation ever again. You'll never forget what you're going to say. You're going you're gonna to be able to speak from the heart. You'll always be able to stay on track because of this one effective tool that I call -dun -dun, the bubble map. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the world famous bubble map. <laughs> now, I want you to go ahead. It's famous in my world. <laughs> so, but I've taught this bubble map before for 1500 bucks an hour. So I want you to appreciate it because what I'm going to teach you just flat out works. It's the cutting edge technology on public speaking training. So first thing that we're going to do is I want you to think about a 30 minute master talk that you could give. Okay, so go ahead and imagine that you're going to give a 30-minute presentation on a topic that's relevant in your world. You know, if you're if you're an entrepreneur, you would probably want to talk about your business. If it's for your job, you might create a 30-minute presentation about something work-related. Like maybe you have some ideas that will improve the processes at your office or that might increase company revenue or save your company uh, tons of money and you'd like to give an educational talk to your upper management about you know how they could do that. So I don't know what you'd actually like to talk about. Um, some of you, you're saying, well, you know, I don't want to make it work-related, and I don't have a business yet. If you don't want to make it something about your job and you don't have a business, I'd like you to build your bubble map, your 30-minute master talk, around something that you're passionate about something that you're good at. Maybe you're the person that's always patching people up after a breakup. So maybe you could talk about relationships. Or maybe you uh, people have told you, man, you're really good at marketing. That whole social media thing, you're like the go-to guy. You should really do something with this. So uh, I think you get the point here. So now that you've selected your topic, ask yourself, who would be my ideal audience? and make it as real life as possible. 
Maybe your ideal audience is a group of entrepreneurs. Maybe it's a group of C-level executives if you're in the B2B space. Maybe it's uh, college students. Uh, you know, I don't know where this lands for you, but I just want you to think about, okay, who would get the most value from my 30-minute master talk that we're going to help you create in the next step of the webinar? Okay, so I trust that you have selected your topic and imagine your ideal audience. Now it's time to create your own customized bubble map. Now there's three T's to creating an effective bubble map. The title, the T-bar, and putting it all together. So what I want you to do right now on your blank sheet of paper is to write out a title at the top. And again, this is going to be your title for your 30 minute presentation. Just a little tip on titles. If you can include the, the problem and the solution in your title, that's a good way to go. That's going to grab uh, your uh, uh, audience members uh, attention. You know, so you'll see the example from stage fright to spotlight stage fright. That's the problem. Oh, but the solution is right there in the title. Okay. Spotlight. Yes. That's what people want. Some other possible titles could be, you know, how to, you know, how to monetize your speaking without traveling. Or maybe, you know, something a little more, the curiosity factor, you know, the seven secret strategies of XYZ. I think you get the point. So go ahead and fill in your title box now. All right. So don't, don't, don't try to make it perfect. Just go ahead, go for, go for progression and not perfection. And this applies to all of your business. You know, the, the, the really the, the mindset that you want to have for your business is not, okay, let me wait until I'm ready. Let me then aim in the right direction, in the right marketing platforms. And then let me fire and you really put my stuff out to the world. That's not the way business works. So it's not ready, aim, fire. It's not like that. In business, what's going to help you is if you're willing to fail forward. So it's more like fire, uh, aim, ready. Now I'm ready. So <laughs> feedback is the breakfast of champions. I learned that from Tony Robbins. So go out there and just do it. So don't get stuck on perfection it's not about perfection it's about progression so we've completed the first t which stands for title box now let's move to the second t which we call the t bar and what i want you to do right now is to flip the paper over and on the back side i want you to draw a giant t bar just like this on the left side of the t bar write the words tables equals points and on the right side, write the words, legs equals evidence. So the tables represent the points we're going to make during our 30 minute talk. And the legs represent the different pieces of evidence to support the tables. I'm going to explain the whole table legs metaphor in just a second when we get to the third T of putting it all together. But right now, I just want you to follow along. The only thing that I want you to do right now is to go ahead and create a brain dump of all the possible points that you could make in this presentation. Don't worry about if you're going to use them or not. So you'll see some examples, you know, how to overcome mental blocks. So again, this is the presentation from Stage Fight to Spotlight. I'm just coming up with a list of potential points. How to overcome the mental blocks, how to deliver like a pro, why public speaking, how to structure a profitable mastermind, how to monetize your speaking, how to get booked, you know, why we're different than our competitors, whatever. Go ahead and hit pause and think about all the possible points that you could make and just write them down under that section that says tables equals points. Go ahead and do that now. Now on the right side of the T-bar, what I want you to do is to write down all the possible legs or pieces of evidence that you could use in this 30-minute presentation. 
And I'm gonna explain how to do this when we put it all together. But right now, I simply want you to write down all the legs that you see right there. Don't try to customize them at this point. Just write down the word questions, personal story, observational story, statistics, expert opinion, analogy, visual, case study, quotes, jokes, practical advice, opinions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's there's a lot more ways to support uh, you know your tables. There's a lot more legs out there, but just go ahead and stick with those basics for now. Okay, it's time to put it all together, the third T. So go ahead and flip the paper over to the front side and let's create your bubbles. And what I want you to do is to draw this bubble map just like you're seeing it and make each bubble about the size of a quarter. Go ahead and hit pause and do that now. All right, so let me go ahead and break down this bubble map for you. The first, the first bubble is the you see an L there and it's the opening bubble okay now L simply means that we plug in one of the legs that we wrote down on the back okay I'm gonna show you how to do this just stay with me then you see the preview after we deliver the opener we go into the preview the preview is nothing more but stating what the actual tables are so today we're gonna to talk about this, we're gonna talk about that, and we're also gonna cover that point right there. Right after you do the preview, think of it like basketball, the preview makes a, a, a cross-court pass to the background. And the background is nothing more but talking about you know, yourself. This is your Facebook timeline story, your rags to riches story, just you know some of your challenges, your some of your things that you've achieved, right? You're talking about yourself. And why are you talking on this topic in the first place? And then after you give the background, then you start teaching. You know, say, well, the first thing we're gonna talk about is, and whatever that first table is, right? Now, let me, exp don't worry about the tables yet because we created a brainstorm of all the possible tables. I'll show you how to select them in just a second, but uh, notice that there's four legs supporting the table. So what that means is that, again, there's four pieces of evidence. We wrote all this information down on the back side of the paper. And this is the secret that allows you to speak from the heart. Because if you're out there, you're speaking on a certain topic, and you know you're talking about, you're covering that certain point, that, that first table right there, if you forget some pieces of evidence, some examples, maybe a story, if you forget to put that in as you're speaking from the heart, guess what? Your table is still going to stand. It's still going to stand. Imagine that you had a table. Most tables have four legs. Imagine that one of these legs became loose and it fell down. Would that table still stand on three legs? It absolutely would. It'll be a little more shaky, but it'll stand. So this is what, gonna allow you to speak from the heart. And you can see that we do the same process for table one, table two, table three. We got four legs to support these tables, four pieces of evidence. Now, if you remember all four, even better, right? And you don't have to go in the same order. As you're speaking from the heart, just think about, okay, how is this going to be, how, what's, what am I remembering right now as I'm talking to the live audience? You know, because your mind thinks in terms of pictures. Your mind does not think in terms of words. A lot of times people come to me and they've taken some type of public speaking course at the collegiate level, but they're still inadequate because what they teach you in college is Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three, and to create all these outlines full of words. Well, guess what? Your brain doesn't think in terms of words. And that's why I created this bubble map for myself in the first place because every teaching institution, every seminar that I went to, it was all about creating words. And I have severe ADD, so words just don't work. Not for me and I, for most people. And for anyone that I've coached so far, they would rather give the bubble map and, and have an actual mind map to the presentation. You know, words just, that's not the way your brain thinks. You know, if you ever come to our facility in Duluth, you're going to take 85 North, you're going to punch that in your, your iPhone, and Surrey is going to 
Is, it, is Surrey going to say, okay, now you're going to take 85 North. Let me spell that out. N-O-R-T-H. Or is Surrey going to show you a blue picture of 85? Again, your brain thinks in terms of pictures. So after you, you give this content, then what you do is you go and, and, and you teach and then you do the review. The review is nothing more but stating what the actual tables are. So today we talked about X, Y, and Z. It's that simple. And then we do the close. Now we do have an advanced mind map in our, uh, you know, our uh, mastermind training and some of the other programs that we teach that will really show you exactly how to do the close. And there's uh, several different closes. But right now what I'm showing you is just the bubbles of information or the circles of information. In our advanced training, we, sh we show you the squares of persuasion. It's very, very powerful. So let me give you some examples of how we would, all, we would put this together. But before we do that, what I want you to do is go back to your, on the back side right there, and circle three of those points, three of those tables that you could use in your presentation. So what are your three tables? Go ahead and circle them. And then put a number one, number two, and a number three in the order that you're going to deploy them. So go ahead and hit pause and do that now. All right. And then the very next thing I want you to do is to think about an, a leg, as you'll see there at the top. Think about a leg. Choose one of those legs that you could start your presentation with. I'll give you examples in just a second, but just think about, okay, what could I start my presentation with? Could I start with a series of questions? Could I start with a personal story? Could I start with an analogy? You know, could I start with a, a, a joke, a quote? Just go ahead and think about it. And here's the biggest secret. Pay very close attention right now. The biggest secret in creating a visual mind map when it comes to presentations is to use three words or less for every bubble. Make it as visual as possible. If you could use one word for every bubble, that's even better. If you could draw, that's even better. Make it visual, make it visual. That's how your brain thinks, okay? So think about, go ahead and pa hit pause if you need to, but think about, okay, what's the leg that I'm going to use for my opener? The preview is nothing more but stating what I'm going to talk about. And then the background is talking about myself and why the audience should look, at, look to me as an expert on this topic. And then when I get down to the review, okay, that's easy. That rhymes with the word preview. And uh, that's just nothing more but stating what I just talked about, table one, two, and three. Okay, that's easy. And then there's a, another L there for the close. So today I'm going to leave you with another with a quote by the late and great Maya Angelou, right? So something like that. And that's the basic close. Obviously, if you want to persuade, you might want to consider some of our advanced resources that will teach you the squares of persuasion and you plug them in all throughout this bubble map. But we obviously, we don't have time to get into that at this moment. So let me give you some examples. There is my title right there, From Stage Fright to Spotlight. You'll notice there a series of question marks. That's my opening leg. And you'll notice also that the table, Why Public Speaking, I chose that as my first table. You'll notice that there's four legs to support those, uh, that, that table. Now, I didn't customize it, right? I didn't, I didn't actually tell you what my legs are for this presentation because I don't have time to go into a full in-depth presentation on this webinar, but you can kind of see how, how I would do this. And the way I want you to think about, about this is like Saturday Night Live, you know, Saturday Night Live, when, if you're thinking about watching SNL, right, and if you decide to watch it, what's the first thing that they do? They hook you in with the opening skit. That's the opening leg. And then what they do is they say, and tonight on Saturday Night Live, we have Jim Carrey and your Saturday Night Live band. And that's the preview, right? So 
that's the way I want you to think about this. Don't start off saying, well, my name is Ariel Ginga and thank you guys for coming to listen to my talk today. Today I'm going to cover public speaking mastery. No, I don't want to start off my preview. I want to start off by hooking the audience with the opening leg. So here's an example of how I might do this. Questions, right? If, if I choose questions. So how many people here would love to become better presenters by the time we finish our session today? Let me see you. And how many people here understand that communication works for those that work hard at it? Let me hear you say I. Very good. Well, I can promise you that you will become better presenters by the time we finish our session today if we do one thing together. If we fully engage, what's the word please? Engage. So Atlanta Public Speaking, are you ready to play at a level 10 today? Okay, that sounded like about a 7. Everybody go ahead and put your hand on your heart. Say, I'm ready to play at a level 10 today. Very good, very good. Well, you know, first thing I like to do is acknowledge you for being here. You know, there's a saying and it goes something like this. It says that 85% of success is just one thing. It's just... It's just somebody, somebody from the audience. What is it? It's just showing up. Thank you. And you guys are here. Now, I can't reach all of you, but I want you guys to do me a big favor. I want you to reach out both hands. Go ahead and do that now. I want you to turn to your neighbor, and I want you to give him a pat on the back and say, congratulations for being here. <laughs> so that's an example, right? That's an example of how I used the opening series of questions and then I, I use some crowd participation, which I'm going to teach you in this webinar. But that's just an example if I decided to use that leg as my opener. Now, don't be biased. All the legs are good. Think of it like, you know, you're at Thanksgiving. You got turkey legs. You got chicken legs. You got duck legs. Um, anybody ever had frog legs? <laughs> All the legs are good. Don't be biased to the legs. So let's say I wanted to start off with a personal story. You'll notice that, again, I'm not using more than three words per bubble. There's not one bubble on this diagram that has more three words per, per, per bubble, right? So a personal story. It was 2009. I found myself at a crossroads in my career. I remember overlooking the golf course in Atlantic Station. I was writing in my journal and I had to make a decision, right? And that's my kickoff into my personal story. And then I'll do the preview in the same way that I did it before. And then I'll go into, you know, the background. So I'll show, I'll show you kind of how to piece that together. But just notice that I can do any one of those, uh, any one of the legs for the opener, right? So let me actually give you an example of how I would piece this together with the preview as well and with the background, right? So I'll, I'll, maybe I'll say something like this, observational story. I'll say, you know, uh, last night I was watching Anderson Cooper and he had a very interesting guest on the show and they were talking about, and that's my kickoff into a personal story, right? And then what I'll say is, well, you know, I want you guys to know that um, you're in the right room today because today we're going to find out exactly why we fear public speaking in the first place. I'm going to give you cutting edge strategies that will help you eradicate this fear once and for all. After that, I'm going to show you strategies and secrets of delivering like a pro. Like a what? Like a pro. Thank you. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to monetize your speaking by structuring your own profitable mastermind okay that was my preview right there but before we do that would it be okay if i tell you guys a little bit about myself so that you can get a better understanding of you know why should you listen to me on this topic in the first place you know why do a lot of people call me the expert when it comes to public speaking uh, in atlanta you know would that be okay with everybody and then you start talking about your background now a little note on the background you want to include Put a little CC over there, CC. The C stands for challenges, and the first C, and then the second C stands for credibility. You know, so I, I talked about, you know, I was in Romania. I came from a communist country. I saw my dad go through a hunger strike. I came here. I was painfully shy. I had this, this uh, traumatic experience in geography class, right? My mess became my message. So I told you about my challenges. 
But then I also included the other C, which is the credibility. I said, you know, today we had the, the good fortune of coaching professionals from all walks of life, from companies that you may recognize, places like IBM, like Georgia Tech, like AJC, like Hilti. So I've included that in my background. And so you might say, well, Ariel, I don't have that much credibility. I got a lot of challenges, but I don't have a lot of credibility. I haven't coached anybody from Georgia Tech or IBM. And you know what? That's okay. You have more credibility than you think. You know, you, you could say something like, I've read countless books on this topic. I went to dozens of workshops. I have attended, you know, hundreds of trainings, if that's true. You know, always be truthful in your presentations because the audience can really relate to that. So I think you get the point there. And we are going to go ahead and, and move right along here. Let me give you a, another one here. Let's just say that uh, we decided to start off with a statistic. 85% of your financial success is related to your ability to stand and deliver in front of a group of people. And today we're going to find out how to become a part of the top tier that has this skill down to a science. Today we're going to find out exactly, see I'm going into my preview, we're going to find out exactly why public speaking is the number one fear that people have. And, and, and th why this is irrational fear. We're going to really dive in depth and break it down. We're also going to talk about how to deliver like a pro. Like a what? Like a pro. And then we're going to talk about how to monetize your speaking online and offline through your own successful mastermind. But before we do that, would it be okay if I just tell you guys a little bit about myself? So you could get a better understanding of, hey, why should you listen to me on this topic in the first place? Would that be okay with everybody? So I, I think I've, I've uh, beat this point into the ground and I've given you a, a, quite a few examples here. So that right there is the basic bubble map. Now in our mastermind program, we do have an advanced version of the bubble map. What you've learned here today, you've just learned the circles of information. If you decide to join our upcoming mastermind, we're going to teach you the squares of persuasion. And it's very, very powerful. So let me kind of give you an example. This is coming from our advanced mind mapping system. So I'm going to give you an example with the seed box right there. So you'll go into your, let's just say you chose questions for your opener. How many people here would love to become better presenters Da, 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 da. Okay, that's my opener. Well, awesome. I could, you guys are in the right room today because today we're going to find out exactly why we fear public speaking. We're going to talk about how to deliver like a pro. And we're also going to talk about how to monetize your speaking. But before we do that, would it be okay if I just tell you guys a little bit about myself so you could get a better understanding of why I came here to talk to you on this topic today? Awesome. So, you know, and then you talk about your background. And then right after that, you insert the seed box. It's just plug and play, drag and drop. And we're going to teach you exactly how to do that if you decide to sign up for our mastermind. But here's how you would do that. You plant a seed that, hey, I'm going to show you guys more information at the end. I'm going to teach you all I can. So you may say something like this. So today... We only have about 30 minutes together. And in this next 30 minutes, I'm going to teach you all I can about public speaking. And then for those of you that want to take your training further, I promise to create an opportunity at the end where you can do that. Is that fair with everybody here? All right. Very good. So let's get started. So I planted a seed that, hey, you know what? I'm going to give you guys just a sample right now. But there's some of you out there that are really interested and you want the whole buffet. And guess what? At the end, I'm going to show you how to get it. So we have, again, you'll, you'll notice very deliberate seed boxes. They're placed at certain points throughout the presentation. And again, if you want to learn more about that, we do have some resources that will teach you advanced selling from the stage uh, tactics. This also works for webinars, also works for... You know, uh, if you do like a video training, if you do like a, a, a product launch, I mean, these, these tactics work extremely well. And the best part about it is that they're very, very authentic and it's going to allow you to speak from the heart and it's going to allow you to be yourself. Okay, let's move on to our next section, 
Delivery. Deliver like a pro. Like a what? Like a pro. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, delivery is actually very important as well. There's two. Uh, all public speaking problems can be categorized into two sections, mental blocks or physical blocks. The mind mapping deals with the mental blocks. And the delivery portion deals with the actual, the physical blocks, right? So now we have 15 of these components of effective public speaking delivery, 15 channels. And in our mastermind training, we help you to go through all of them and unclog all of these channels so you could be completely free as a speaker. Uh, today, I'm just going to cover three of those uh, components, three of those channels. So the first one is the voice triangle. Now you'll notice that the triangle has three different voices, the high, the medium, and the low. That's how many voices I want you to speak in during your presentation. The high voice, that's your loud voice, your coach voice, you're the preacher, you're the seminar leader, you're gonna inspire the audience to take action. The medium voice, that's your more conversational, more instructional type of voice. But you know, also, there's times when I, when I want you to go into your low voice, you know, you, you, you might say like, well, how would I do that? You know, you know, man, we've been best friends since the age of 13. How could you burn me like that? And what happens to your voice? It actually goes down, right? So I just want you to think of, think about your Dr. Dre in the studio. You can't predict the beats. The equalizer. You're going to talk in three different voices. Well, Ariel, when should I do the high voice? When should I do the medium voice? When should I do the low voice? At the beginning, it doesn't matter. We, we Obviously, we're going to teach you more in our program, but, but it doesn't matter just as long as you're not monotone. So speak in three different voices. Okay, we are moving right along here. The next component. Now, you'll notice that everything I teach is designed to help you remember this information right away and you'll be able to implement this right away. You know, I have severe ADD or ADHD, whatever you want to call it. And you'll notice that the way I teach with bubbles, with visuals, you know, preview, rhymes with review, you know, now you got these triangles and everything's very visual. And this is the way I teach all throughout my mastermind. This is the way I teach all throughout my trainings. When I do a corporate program, this is exactly the way I teach so that this, this information is retained. And you're not just going home after a workshop or a great seminar and you got this nice workbook. It's full of words, but you can't remember one single thing from that notebook. So, all right, let's, let's go ahead and kind of uh, go into the stage triangle. Now, what I want you to imagine is that the stage is made up of three points. And it's, it's, it's shaped as a triangle. So you have the right stage, you got a center stage, and you got the left stage. And as you're giving your presentation, I just want you to remember, walk and talk, walk and talk, walk and talk. And as you're walking and talking, you're moving over to the right side of the stage and then plant your feet. Now, here's a, here's a secret right here. When you plant your feet right here, don't wobble back and forth. You know, <laughs> don't, don't, don't pace back and forth. Plant your feet right there in the right stage and then stay there and pivot. You can still address the whole audience just by pivoting. It'll come natural once you start practicing this. And we show you, obviously, in, in, our, in our programs, we, we put you on video. We have a lot of video feedback that you get to review every single day and take that video footage home with you after every class. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but just know that you know video feedback is king when it comes to public speaking improvement. So, and then you, you walk and talk, you walk and talk, you go to the center stage and again, plant your feet, pivot, and then walk and talk, walk and talk. Then you go to the left stage again, plant your feet, pivot. And then, you know, just, just make it natural. You can move on stage. Later on, this could become your own Jeet Kune Do. You know, right now you just learn the fundamentals, but later on you'll know exactly when to move. It'll feel natural. You won't think about it. Right. Okay, so we are moving right along at super lightning speed here. The next uh, component out of our 15 components 
uh, that I thought would be very important. And I get a lot of emails on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and include uh, this next component, which is called CP. No, it doesn't stand for California Pizza Kitchen. It stands for crowd participation. As presenters, you want to make sure that you're engaging the audience. And, you know, we have a lot more engagement strategies in our mastermind training, but I'm just going to share a couple of the quick engagement strategies, the basic ones that you can start implementing right away. The first one is to get the audience to move right then and there in their chair. Get them to move. You know, everybody turn to your neighbor. Give them a high five. Clap twice if you're with me. Everybody stand up for a declaration. Everybody go ahead and put your hand on your heart. Get the audience to move. So that's, that's one way they can get them involved. The idea is that you don't want to speak at the audience. You want to speak with the audience. You want to have a two-way conversation with the audience throughout the whole presentation. Another way is to get... To, oh, hold on a second. I'm, I'm going to have to take a... Remember what we said? It's not about perfection. It's about progression. So I'm going to have to take a drink of water here. Now, if you want to do webinars out there, guys, make sure to always have water or else you're, <laughs> you're going to start coughing like a chicken and it's not going to be attractive for your uh, audience member. So... I apologize. I got to take a quick water break here. Ah, water, water, my favorite drink. All right, where were we? So get the audience to move. Another crowd participation technique is to get the audience to repeat, get them to repeat. You know, uh, today we're going to have an exciting time learning about one of my favorite topics in this whole world, public speaking. Now, what kind of time, everybody? Exciting time. Thank you. So, you know, that is, that's actually a great way to get the audience to participate, get them to repeat, or get them to say something in unison. I don't think I, I wrote that one down, but get them to say something in unison. These are all great ways. Very, very good. Good strategies for uh, implementing crowd participation. And I learned a lot of this stuff from uh, T. Harv Eker. I, I got a chance to uh, see him uh, live back in 2007 and 2008. Uh, you know, the Millionaire Mind Seminar. And uh, man, what a what an awesome presenter T. Harv Eker is. I mean, this guy is just unbelievable live. And, you know, I'm just sitting there on the front row, by the way, because I'm always, I, I like to get the full experience. And I'm just like, wow, I'm taking it all in. And it, it, it's awesome stuff. So, again, I wouldn't be where I am today without my mentors, you know. But uh, another another great way to get your your crowd involved is to go ahead and fill in, uh, get them to fill in the blank. You know, eighty five percent of success is just one thing. It's just somebody showing up. Thank you. So you start a sentence. And let the audience complete the sentence. Here's another good one. Questions. Go ahead and make a little hook sign with your top two fingers and put it close to your temple and say, questions hook the mind. Questions hook the mind. So constantly throughout your presentation, check in with your audience. Ask a lot of questions. Does that make sense? Everybody with me? Are you guys willing? Does everybody follow? Does that sound fair? You know, ask a lot of questions throughout your presentation. Using my master talk, I now help hundreds of people all around the world. You know, today it took me to you, and that's why we're talking. And we're about to get into the, the most important part of this whole webinar. This is the part that you've been waiting for, how to package your passion, how to actually create your own mastermind. In just a couple of moments, we're going to dive in depth and I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how to do it. But before we jump into the, the monetization piece, uh, you know, where I'm going to teach you exactly, you know, the seven step formula, uh, I just want to include some, some feedback stories, uh, some actual testimonials rather of people that have found our programs a beneficial and, you know, the, the thing that I really want you to kind of watch out for is that I don't want you to knock yourself out of the race here saying, 
oh well you know those testimonials are awesome and that that's great that they got those results but you know what I'm a very tough case you know or that doesn't apply to me because I'm in XYZ type of business or I sell this way or my product this wouldn't work for my product or I'm so bad at public speaking that it just it will not work you know I just don't want you to think like that don't shoot yourself in the foot before you even get started so you know I just want you to see how much and how wide this can actually apply to your business and you know you're gonna see the different kinds of industries that these folks are in because uh, you know it's truly truly one of those formulas that works across the board I mean from entrepreneurs to internet marketers to IT professionals we've worked with everybody all every type of industry we've even worked with pastors before and uh, of course we customize our training for the individual but you know uh, again don't knock yourself out of the race saying oh no I'm a tough case this won't apply to me you know so just don't do that so I picked out a few examples people you may or may not know and hopefully you can uh, identify with some of these examples the first uh, person is uh, Chaminda Gamaje. He's one of my best success stories. You know, when he found us on the web, Chaminda wasn't looking to become an entrepreneur. He just wanted more confidence to be able to express himself and really to advance in his profession. That was his goal. He had his eyes on a promotion. And he writes, the service provided by Ariel via one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions proved to be more than the money's worth. Ariel's training, guidance, and teaching caused a significant transformation in my life. His methods helped me achieve much more than I expected. I was able to achieve my immediate career goals by implementing his approaches in real life situations. By just showing up for one of his demonstration sessions, I was able to gauge what to expect and immediately signed up for his services. That was one of the smartest decisions I made in my life. So I'm not going to read you the whole thing, but you know, I just want you to know that if you're in the IT space, if you want to, if you have your eyes on a promotion, 85% of jobs that pay over a hundred thousand per year require some sort of public speaking. So again, we have some really good resources that can help you to do that. And so what also inspired me to share this is because, you know, there's some, some people on this webinar that want exactly that. You want that promotion. And I got to tell you, this, uh, this story is very special. You know, this testimonial is special from uh, Chaminda because, you know, he wrote this recommendation letter literally while he was going through the program and, and right after he landed a promotion. And it's just so, so remarkable that, he was able to, to, to get this promotion and it gave him a very nice bump in his annual salary, by the way. You know, so this stuff really, really works. You know, like we said, 85% of jobs that pay over 100 grand require public speaking. LinkedIn did a study. What they found out was that the number one thing that companies are looking for in a candidate, the number one thing, what do you think it is? Leadership and communication skills. Having the soft skills is a commodity and it will serve you in more ways than you can imagine. And I hope that this training inspires you to get good at public speaking because it will pay off for you in more ways than you could even imagine. Not to mention that when you have the speaking skills down, you can do a lot of good for your community. You know, after working with Cheryl Smith, I was very humbled by her kind words. She's the founder of Inspiring Students to Excel, a scholarship and financial planning organization for young adults. Her kind words. I'm always able to, no, I'm always open to learning new things and I'm very happy that I took your coaching class because it stretched me beyond my own capability. I've heard tons of speakers over the years and have observed their present, their preparation, body gestures, product knowledge, and length of time that it has taken to speak on a particular subject. Your training made things more clear for me to be able to understand how to master a speaking engagement effectively each and every time I'm invited to speak. 
I appreciate you delivering on everything that was promised to be a part of your training package. Thank you so much, Cheryl. And thank you to all my students. We get dozens of these, uh, these uh, recommendations, letters, and uh, I'm, I'm very humbled that there's, there's a lot of people out there that have really connected with uh, our training. And now I know there's a lot of you because I've seen you out there and we use some of this stuff ourselves that are attracting business through strategy sessions. So you're getting people either into a one-on-one -on -one appointment in your office or maybe a one-on-one -on, -one on the phone. And our mastermind program, by the way, covers exactly how to do that. And Sindrell Harry with the background in technology sales at IBM. And, you know, she just has so much uh, talent. She knows about real estate. You know, she, I believe she's going to be one of the most well-known philanthropists that uh, is right here in Atlanta. And she's, she's just awesome. And all my students are, are very awesome and very... Um, very successful, actually, and, and I'm humbled that they've connected with our training. But Sindrell writes, the, the training that I received from uh, Ariel Ginga is the most unique speaking program that I've undertaken. Uh, in working with the corporate sales and technology field for over seven years during, I'm responsible for building trusted customer relationships, effectively communicating technology business value for multi... Whew, uh, this webinar is way too long, <laughs> but uh, stick with me, guys. Um, a, a business value for multi-million dollar accounts across the East Coast and indirectly managing the technical sales management aspects across a complex matrix organization. Throughout my career, I've been exposed to several types of corporate training programs that focus on presentation, sales, and communication skills. Many times I've found that at the end of these costly and lengthy programs, I had to rely on notes or books to remember what I actually learned. To date, the program developed by Ariel has been the single most valuable program as content is tailored to uniquely provide content to the individual. I discovered that the techniques used to uh, help to ensure the material taught is retained. I found that in a very short period of time, the techniques became embedded in my muscle memory and I saw these results through increased sales, pipeline growth, improved customer interactions, and I also gained more confidence in my ability to do ad hoc presentations focused on key points. I would highly recommend the programs. We have different websites, by the way, PDG, Personality Development Group, uh, Atlanta Public Speaking. So we have a couple different um, you know, websites, but uh, you know, I'm very, very proud of my students, extremely proud. They're the reason that I do what I do. So go Sindrell, go go everyone that I mentioned here. You guys are awesome and you are you are truly the, the oxygen that I need to keep me going and to keep me motivated and to keep on putting these, these uh, seminar training programs uh, for, for everyone that I possibly can. I'm literally on a mission to coach as many people as I can and to help transform people from uh, wherever they are in their public speaking ability to a level 10, one speaker at a time. So I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate about my work and I hope that translates through this webinar. You know, I'm, I'm a little tired right now. I've been talking a long, a long time. I've, I've done workshops throughout the whole weekend. My mastermind group, you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's firing on all six cylinders. But, you know, I, although physically I'm, I'm tired, spiritually I'm not tired, you know, because I, I love what I do and I live for what I do. So uh, those of you doing B2B would really benefit from our mastermind training because you can use public speaking marketing to invite your ideal clients to a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you and offer your solutions. Of course, if it's a good fit, right? It always has to be... You always have to be authentic and honest, so it has to be a good fit. You know, I always believe in win-win situations and win-win partnerships. Those are the only kind of partnerships that I extend to, uh, to people. So this will keep you talking to your best clients, and you can find out what their true pain points are and provide solutions that they really need. And this, you know, public speaking marketing is the best market research that you can possibly do. You know, when you've already spoken, when they've seen you or heard of you, maybe through a webinar or, you know, through a live workshop, 
the the credibility is so much higher the relationship is so much further along and when you do get on that one-on-one -on -one call or you do have that one-on-one -on -one meeting you're gonna be so much further along in the process so for those of you doing one-on-one -on -one appointments I believe that public speaking marketing is the best way to attract uh, people to really find out about your services your products and your solutions and again I'm speaking from experience I'm currently getting 90% of my clientele through some type of public speaking marketing platform and in our mastermind we teach you how to get booked as a guest speaker there's Ariel right there in the middle and he's speaking on the same stage with you know fortune 1000 companies now we teach you in our program how to do that how to get up on stages and present your educational talk maybe a keynote and it's uh, designed to really to help the community and to help the members at that conference to find out more about you know the solutions that you provide if you really believe in your solutions right so we're gonna teach you how to get booked as a guest speaker um, maybe some of you out there you, you want to learn how to do your own workshops your own seminars so we're gonna teach you that part as well the outbound speaking is when you're speaking on other people's stages the inbound speaking is when you're running your own workshops seminars or events and I gotta I gotta I gotta tell you guys you know if you're offering something that that is high quality and it's something that you know it's at the high ticket level so we're talking a, a, a transaction that's at least a few thousand dollars right and you're offering that at your workshop how many people have to say yes to your genuine invitation in order for this to be worth your while and worth your time honestly if one person says yes it's already worth it right if you could use a 30-minute talk or a 90-minute workshop or a two-hour seminar and just one person says yeah I'll invest because I need this and they're willing to invest with you at that level we're talking you know several thousand dollars so it, it absolutely would be worth it and you know what do you think makes more sense selling one-on-one -on -one, picking up the phone cold calling or selling one on 50 leveraging your time I mean I'm not saying cold calling doesn't work I'm not saying that a lot of these other uh, marketing social media I'm not saying this stuff doesn't work but currently I'm getting 90% of my clients through public speaking marketing and I hope this webinar awakens you to just reconsider if you're not if you're not implementing public speaking marketing right now into your business man you have to you have to at least look further into this topic because um, if you're doing it right now a lot of people are doing public speaking marketing but they're not doing it right and they're not getting clientele so again it's uh, who are you listening to who's in your corner do you have the right mentor on your side so I hope that you can uh, relate to those examples you know we have uh, people who have graduated from our programs who are leveraging our business model and they're getting just amazing results whether it's via live speaking or via online marketing or you know corporate professionals using these systems and concepts to gain new accounts I truly truly feel blessed to serve as a catalyst for so many wonderful people out there who have connected with our teachings and uh, you know before we we dive into the part that you've been waiting for the monetization piece the part where I'm gonna show you our blueprint our seven step formula for creating a profitable mastermind I just want to highlight that what makes all of this work is having scientific systems in place that will help you grow both personally and professionally because those are the two things that I always promise people hey as a result of our program you will become a better public speaker and as a result of our program we will help you to up level your financial position now I don't ever promise exact amounts but our success stories speak for themselves and the kind of ROI that people have made from our programs is just 
it blows my mind actually and i'm so proud of my students but you know i just want to highlight that what makes all of this work is having systems in place right that's the part that's the important uh, robert kiyosaki i love what he says he's the, the author of rich dad poor dad he says that for a business to survive and thrive, 100% of all the systems must be functioning and accountable. For example, an airplane is a system of systems. If an airplane takes off and the fuel systems fail, there often is a crash. The same thing happened in business. The same things happen in business. It's not the systems that you know about that are the problem. It's the systems that you're not aware of that cause you to crash. You know, so so maybe you're not you didn't even think about using public speaking marketing and adding that to your marketing mix. Maybe this will be the game changer for your business. I like what Dan Kennedy says. He says that all wealth is ba based upon systems. And I don't know who wrote this, but uh, but I love this quote. I love this quote because I'm constantly reminding of myself of this quote anytime that I want to take shortcuts. And it says that if you don't have time to do it right, you must have time to do it over. So, so true. So having a system will make all the difference in your business and in your public speaking. This is the secret. This is what will produce consistent cash flow every month for your business. And your master talk is the nucleus of that system. And it will work regardless of the industry that you're in. So I'd love for you to come with me now we're gonna actually show you the exact structure of setting up a successful mastermind. These are the seven steps, the seven steps for structuring your very own profitable mastermind. I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna give you the blueprint that we use step by step. So if you're listening to this webinar right now on a podcast, if you're on a podcast app, it's very important if you could get in front of a computer and go to atlpublicspeaking.com slash mastermind. atlpublicspeaking.com slash mastermind. There are some pieces, some elements on this page that I want to show you where I've actually outlined the steps to putting together the perfect mastermind. So while you're there at atlpublicspeaking.com slash mastermind, what I really want you to know, and go ahead and just make your way there right now, wherever you are. Just you know, continue to listen to the webinar. I'm going to walk you through this process, but find a way to get in front of a computer and it, you know, because this way you're going to really be able to follow along. But what I'm going to do as you find your way to a computer is I'm just going to talk a, just a little bit about the power of a mastermind as it comes straight from Napoleon Hill, who is my inspiration for for running my own mastermind in the first place you know napoleon hill says that power is essential for accumulation of money and that power comes from organized knowledge and one thing i learned years ago is that there's a lot of power in the mastermind the mastermind has has incredible power to motivate you to action plus if you think about it group work is a lot more fun than working solo that's <laughs> right so you know, also think about it through a mastermind. You're learning so much just by witnessing your peers do the example. When you see them talk, when you see them set up their online systems, when you see them do their product, all the stuff that we kind of help them do in our mastermind, which we'll, we'll talk about in just a second here. You learn so much just by osmosis and seeing your your classmates progress. So the, the mastermind is incredibly powerful and it's the system which i'll show you right now the seven secret strategies this is this is it guys this is the secret right here having this system